Hello and welcome to this Backwards Compatible Comics view. Today we're looking at Penny Dreadful, um, issue number one. Uh, written, as you can see there, by Kirsty Wilson Cairns and illustrated by Louis de Martins. Uh, lettered by Simon Boland um, and a lot of other names as well. So, basically this is a prequel to the uh, TV show. Um, now, the TV show, if you don't know, is very graphic, very... Uh, very visceral. It's set in, in Victorian England and it's kind of like a um, there are characters who are it's not an alternative history because it's not a history they are alternative um, literary, literary characters um, and basically the, the, the book, the, the, the TV show goes from there. Now this is a prequel to that so um, we're, we're kind of gently introduced to some of the characters like Sir Malcolm Murray and, and Vanessa who's, the, um, who's played by Ah, Ava Green, who's in the middle, um, and basically this is the story about them trying to find uh, Sir Malcolm's daughter who's disappeared, um, and that's basically what it sets up. So you don't need to know the series to like this. You don't need to know any more depth. A couple of things you will need to know is there is gore, uh, as you can see there, the blood, the mutilation. Sure, you should have mentioned that the earlier. Um, if you've got a weak stomach, the TV show probably is not for you. The comic as well is graphic. It's not graphic in terms of pure... Um, uh, um, what was the best way to put it? It's not anatomically correct graphicness, I'll, I'll put it that way. Instead, what uh, Louis de Martinez has, de Martins has, has created is a, a, a very, as you can see, haunting sort of vision of the world. Um, no characters are completely defined. There's, there's soft, subtle mixes. Nothing's very uh, doesn't look like anything's inked around the edges, really. But you know everything's quite soft. But when the reds come and the colours flow in, it, it just looks absolutely. It, it, you can't. You can't. Uh, you won't. When you see this, you won't be able to sort of say, "Oh, I've never seen anything like that. I've seen loads of like that before." Because this is something that's very quite unique. And I like that about it. I think it's great. So again, when um, the, there are tones of reds and yellows, depending on where they are, or blues. And as this, as the issue goes on, you will see a, a bit of a difference. And I like that. I think it's very clever. Um, again, where where the story's going is a very gentle setup. Um, I say gentle setup. It, it leads you into finding all about um, Amina, um, who's who's again is Sam Alcum's lost daughter. Um, and it's quite a nice twist towards the end, so definitely something to look forward to. Um, I really enjoyed this. It's, I love the TV show, and, I'm in, and I, I did enjoy the comic. Um, but as I say, I think if, you, if you're a fan of the show, you'll like it. If you're not a fan of the show, then don't worry. You don't have to be, but this may be quite a nice, gentle entry into it. So thank you very much. Do take care, and good night.